got clickbaited. Clickbaited. I actually looked up that word if it could be verbalized and it's to clickbait. So you actually got clickbaited. <laughs> I did that just to cause a shock. Today's video is going to be me reacting to silly comments. <laughs> silly comments that are left at the bottom of my videos. I am not going to read them out because there's actually quite a few and I don't want to give any more weight to these comments. Now, I know there's a viewer and I forget her name that she says that I shouldn't justify myself. I'm not really justifying myself. I'm actually doing this video as a reaction video just because I find it, it's fun, funny for me to read things like when people, they don't ask, they say that I die this strand on purpose okay so now I'm going to spend time money and energy just to die that one strand like maybe I would like to die more strands if I'm gonna do that but no I'm just gonna do that one strand up there okay if you think that that's plausible ah, so it is the official answer is eh, I don't die that at all I was also told that it's very unflattering and I shouldn't do it <laughs> Well, thank you for your honesty. <laughs> and again, I don't do it on purpose. And if it's unflattering, hey, you know, pick it up with God. He's the one who decided that. So not me, not my fault. And girls, this is my message that I say to you all the time. Gray is unique. Not everybody has the same gray. That's why it's so beautiful for those who want to look it as beautiful. I am not hawking gray hair as a beautiful thing. I'm just saying, if you happen to like gray hair, well, gray hair, one of the reasons it's beautiful, it's because it's so unique. Not every gray hair or gray haired hair, well, head is the same. For example, in my case, I have this black going here. I have the black going at the bottom. And actually it's because I have so many colors going around that I can wear extensions that have different colors because, hey, I already have naturally different colors going on. Might as well put extensions that are not 100% perfect because that's very hard to find extensions that are exactly the same color as your hair. This is really something that I think I should be flattered, but I'm not sure, but I am flattered, I think, sometimes, well. <laughs> it's when I'm told, I'm told, eh? You are a liar, you've got work done to your face. You cannot look 54 years old, you definitely had work done. I am so perfect, I look like plastic, which that's why I'm saying, is it good, is it bad, is it good, is it bad, but, Pretty soon, plastic surgeons are gonna come to me and they're gonna take my face because they're going to replicate it on people that they wanna look as perfect as me because that's what I'm told all the time. I know that to some of you, I'm going to sound narcissist and it makes sense. However, this is my way to respond to people who tell me that I am a liar for saying my age and saying that I haven't done any work to my face. You don't believe the truth? So I'm gonna tell you how good I am. A little story. When I was 30 years old, a friend of mine, she was doing a lot of jewelry and she invited us, me and other girls, to go dance at this TV station. So we were called to dance at music and you know, wear her jewelry. So we were like these models kind of a thing. Because this TV show belongs to a TV station, they took those images for other shows. And another show that they did is how Montreal was rising in their plastic surgery. And lo and behold, they put my face they put my face as the person who is <laughs> who is having plastic surgery in Montreal I represented the population of people that have plastic surgery <laughs> this is fantastic I'm telling you <laughs> so no plastic surgery on my face I am scared shitless of needles those things scare the heck out of me if a girl asked me to go with her to get her lips injected I barely, you know, I couldn't do it. I couldn't stand there to see all those needles that they would go in and out, in and out, in and out, and that blood would come out. Oh, I cannot do it. So no plastic surgery for me. I am told many times that I cannot possibly be so energetic and positive, that I must be a fake. Well, 
Okay, my extensions are fake. I can tell you that. <laughs> Actually, this is me exactly like this. Did you know that of all the people that subscribe to me, and my girlfriends who are subscribed to, you know, support me, they do not watch my videos. They don't have to watch my videos. They have me live. They don't have to go somewhere to see me act like this. That's how I am. When If we meet at six in the morning, six at night, three in the morning, it doesn't matter. I'm always cheerful, cheery up. And why? I don't know. That's how God made me. Makes me happy. Makes me happy to laugh. It makes me happy to make people laugh. And I'm just a good girl. I'm just... However, I'm gonna tell you this seriously. When I was pregnant, I remember being big as a house and I just felt really, really huge. And I was watching these ladies on TV and these ladies were quite curvaceous. So they weren't like the skinny model or anything like that. And I was looking at them and I was saying to myself, oh, I cannot wait to be their size because compared to them, they were anorexic since I was so big. Then for some reason, a light bulb went off and I remember thinking, yeah, Lisa, but the moment you get to that size, you're going to want to be skinnier than that. And the moment you get skinnier than that, you're going to want to be skinnier than that. And the moment you get skinnier than that, well, something is going to show up that you're going to want more than. At what time, at what point are you going to say to yourself, okay, enough, enough, okay? This is good enough. Enjoy what you have now. When are you going to stop thinking in the future in order to be happy in the present? I decided at that moment that my complaining would end there and there. If I wanted to lose weight, good. Make it happen, good. If it didn't happen, well, do something about it, but no more complaining. I decided that life is full of purposes and to just stop oneself and just complain just for complain's sake was not going to be an option for me anymore i am not natural and that i hawk about going gray i've said this a million times and i'm gonna say it another million times i am not pro gray hair Going gray for me was not an option. That's why I let go of the dye. But it's not like I was, yeah, yeah, I'm going gray. No, or it wasn't like, oh, I don't want to let go of the dye. It wasn't that either. For me, it was simply, hey, that's what it is, I'm moving on. It's the fact that people started making it their business that I wasn't dyeing my hair anymore that I started all these videos about going gray. Otherwise, as far as I'm concerned, I just let go of dye who didn't want to stay on my hair anymore. End of story. That's my reason. I'm not saying that because this is my reason, it should be yours. I'm just saying that this is my reason. I do not hawk going gray, and I'm certainly, certainly not hawking go all natural which ties into how I lost my weight. So many people ask me, how did I lose my weight? People think I have a magic formula, etc. And the fast answer is depression. Depression is what made me lose weight. I went from 175 to 130. So that's almost 50 pounds. And I did that very quickly. So I became flaccid and I had a lot of issues. Then from 130, I went up and down, up and down, and now I'm pretty much stable at 150. So I am not a skinny chick at all. <laughs> I am quite heavy. I personally love my weight. It gives me a tush. Um, I'm not too crazy that I have a belly, but that's because I need to go to the gym and I'm just being too lazy these days. I'm doing too many things. I'm just so, so busy. I don't have time to go to the gym, but I know, I know, I know I'm gonna do it. Besides that, there's no secret to my weight loss. Simply, it was a depression, I was a divorce, I couldn't eat, I couldn't swallow. It took me a whole year to assimilate everything, therapy, all sorts of exercises, mental exercises, where I finally wrapped everything in my head correctly. And now the lesson that I've learned out of all of this is self-love. I give myself permission every single day to love myself. And I really love myself. It's not a joke. I do not seek out anybody's approval, least of all a man, 
I'm the only one who has to be happy. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you see in my IG story how I dance around, joke around on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm alone doing that and I don't know, but I think I'm having a good time. And I know I'm having a good time because from the response I get from you guys, always watching me and telling me how fun I am, etc. Well, I'm totally alone. I don't even have a girlfriend with me. All I have is Chichi, my cat, which, uh, is she there? Yeah, she's actually over there. And not even, sometimes she's with me, sometimes she's in the basement and she disappears, I don't see her. And I'm just me, myself and I, and I'm just so grateful to be by myself, on my own, exploring everything about me, keep it clean. <laughs> not having somebody to tell me what to do, where to go, what to do. And when I say somebody, I don't mean a man, I just mean me putting my happiness in the hands of somebody's approval. Doesn't matter who it is, a man, a woman, a man, a brother, that they decide what is my level of happiness. Nobody has that power anymore, nobody. I took back that power, I have it with me. And the problem with that only is that many people call me narcissist or uh, selfish. And actually, too bad for you because I like when they do that because that means they just get away from me so that there's more space for my self-love to expand. And that's all I do day to day, day to day. Therefore, to all the silly comments I get, which they do make me laugh, they do make me giggle, do know that, <laughs> do know that, what you see is what you get. You're welcome to it. And if you don't like it, you know what to do. Move on to another channel. This is it for this video. I hope it was something interesting. Nobody asked me for this video. Usually I do videos that people ask me, request. Hopefully you picked up a couple of things here and there that could help you. Remember, you are in charge of your happiness. You only are responsible of your happiness. You are not responsible of the happiness of nobody, not even of your children, nobody. They have to find their happiness on their own. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in my next one. Gros bisous. Mwah.